Hi there Deepnauts and welcome to this Friday's video which is about using the DPN to regain access to swap sites if you're blocked. Now I've got a hive mapper um, and the problem is, is that the honey token you have to swap it. There's no exchanges. However the laws in the UK, the regulations have all changed so we now can't do that. Now before that I go through this video I must say that you must abide by all rules and regulations from say if you're in the UK because the UK government doesn't want to keep you poor that's not what it's about it's about keeping you safe so you know sit your own risk um obviously don't break the law no matter how stupid it is but uh, so if you try and go on to orca.so which is one of the swap sites for the hive mapper honey uh it says access to this site is unavailable to, in the united kingdom due to compliance concerns relating to the rules and regulations promulgated by the uk financial conduct authority um, you can still get your stuff out, however you can't put anything in. So we're going to use our DPN to get around all this. Or rather, experimentally, hypothetically get around all this. So you've got your list of smart root domains here. So we're just going to add orca.so to the smart root list. And then I'm just going to choose Ukraine as the country that I want to go through. Because Ukraine's apparently unrestricted on pretty much everything. And that's it. That's all it takes to get around all this. It's dead simple. Really, really quick. And we go back to Orca.so. Now, remember in previous videos, if you press refresh, because you've got cache saved, it won't allow it. It kind of reads the old cache, so it doesn't update where you are. So we're going to open a private tab, and it works. Works fine. Now, I'm using Safari, and Safari doesn't support the Phantom Wallet extension. Or the MetaMask extension or anything. So we're going to use Brave. So we go over to Brave, and you can see there, it all works fine. My wallet is connected, and I've got Honey and Sol in the account. I've transferred some out, and we're going to now do a transfer to make sure it all works. So, see the price. Honey's done really well recently, um, but I mean, as you can see, it all works fine. So we're going to go buy. Well, sell honey because we're going to get sol or USDC even. And we'll go up max and it says sell. So we'll accept it. Put the password in for the Phantom Wallet extension. And you can see there it's offered us that and it's working. So confirming purchase and it's done. So I've just swapped honey for USDC even though Orca don't want you to be able to do it because of regulations. And that's it. It works. So we'll go up to Hive Mapper and we'll have a Hive Mapper. We'll go up to uh, Fa Phantom Wallet and we'll look at if it's worked and it has. So the swap's taken place and I've now got my USDC, which is really good. And yeah, but there's one thing that is an issue and that's because we've added Orca to the smart route. However, Phantom Wallet, we haven't added them to the smart route. So they know that we're not in Ukraine. Orca.so does. But Phantom Wallet doesn't, and that's what it gives you. It'll say no quotes found, because it doesn't want you to be able to use their swap. So we're going to get around that, and that's really easy as well. In fact, it's extremely easy. And um, all we have to do is put our uh, deeper device on full root for now, um, and then change it back after. The I don't know what domain name Phantom Wallet actually will use, but we're just going to. I can't be bothered to find out, so we'll just use full root. Uh, if you don't have a deeper device, you can use the link in the description below to buy one. They're really good, and um, they're, all, they're all always on sale as well. And you get an extra 5% off. So we'll put it on full root, turn the kill switch on, and we'll set it to Ukraine. Now I've just refreshed my Safari, um, because the cache has obviously expired, and it works. But we'll stick with Brave for now. So we're going to open the Phantom extension again. And now it works. So now it's offering us a swap. Whereas before it didn't. And that's because it thought I was in the UK. But now it thinks I'm in Ukraine. And it's fine. It works. Done. So that is how you get around the rules and regs. That's how you retain your online sovereignty and control over your money. Um, yeah. So now we're going to look at mobile phones. We're going to see... How we get around, maintain our sovereignty on the Phantom Wallet app, because the app does the same thing. It'll say you don't get any quotes. And obviously we want to just be able to pull our phone out, 
and swap. So this is the Phantom Wallet at the minute. So this is on my iPhone, but the same thing will work on Android as well. Um, you can see there we've got no quotes at all because Phantom Wallet are terrified of the UK government and they don't want to step on their toes and get banned, which is pointless because they're not allowing us to use it anyway. So you might as well just take the risk, but okay, fine. So we're going to get around that. Um, same thing. So I've plugged in my deeper air, which I got for the unboxing video and I put it on full route. It's already on full route because I use this for stuff like this. And you can see that I've got tunnels and so on and so on. So I'm using the same Ukrainian uh, tunnels to, to do this. And I've turned on the kill switch so that my IP address doesn't get leaked. And the whole thing works fine. So now we go back onto the app. We close the app completely. And then we go back onto it. And it works. So you go on to your swap. You do whatever you want to do. And we now get a quote. Magic. You know, why couldn't they have given us a quote before? But okay, so that's it. We can go review order. We can click on swap and it will swap it for us. Even though we are in the UK and Phantom Wallet have prevented people from the UK from using their swap thing. Uh, but yeah, it sucks. They, they shouldn't do it. They shouldn't kind of bow down to it. It's meant to be decentralized. Um, I mean, if they do ban them, I mean, so what? I mean, what are you going to do? Ec extradite people from wherever they are? No. Um, so after you've done this, you can put it back on the smart route if you don't want to use the DPN all the time, or you can just leave it on full route, which I do. Because whenever I need to use something like a swap site or a website that bans me from going on there because I'm in the UK, uh, RT is a big one. Uh, surprisingly, that works in Ukraine, which, okay. Um, I can just log on, swap, swap Wi-Fi net, networks, and it works fine. So let's get on with the final thoughts on this. So this is a new regulation about the promotion of crypto financial stuff. And essentially it's been like, it's so vague that it applies to a great deal of swap sites and exchanges. Um, the online harms bill or the online safe, safe D bill is going to come in as well. That's it's in, um, which is pretty totalitarian. The UK is clamping down on crypto. They don't want you to have it. Um, they want you to continue going to work for a crappy job, for a crappy pay, and paying your taxes, which then keeps the rich people rich and the poor people poor. Um, and I don't agree with any of that. So, you know, if they want to come for my money and come for trying to regulate to say I can't do something, it's not going to happen. Don't forget, guys, if you haven't got a deeper device and you want one, you can buy one from the Deeper shop using the code DeeperNote and you get an extra 5% off. Helps the uh, channel and you can then get around all these geo restrictions for everything. So you've got, you've got your Netflix. If you if you want to watch Canadian Netflix and you're in the, the UK, you can do that. Just bag it on a full route and it works. Um, you can get around the financial kind of stuff. It's really good. It's really, really good. Um, the air is meant to be delivered probably towards the end of November so I'm looking forward to that although I already have one but if you've pre-ordered it and you've paid for it you're gonna love it because I think mine's great um, yeah it's fantastic so if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and information videos about the whole project and I hope you enjoy the video so have a great weekend and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekly update thanks everyone bye bye